హాపీ వెల్కమ్ టు కామరెమిడియాస్ కల్చరల్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఇన్ పర్సూట్ ఆఫ్ రూట్స్ నౌ వి క్యాన్ వాచ్ ద నైన్త్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆఫ్ ది కల్చరల్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఇన్ పర్సూట్ ఆఫ్ రూట్స్ నైన్త్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఈస్ ఏన్షియంట్ సీ రూట్స్ ఆఫ్ కేరళ సార్ యువర్ వెల్కమ్ వెరీ మచ్ సో you have already told us all the primitive so called primitive people uh, resorted to sea routes yes to come to kerala except uh, aryans yeah that you also told yeah aryans uh, came by land aryans came by land yeah. right and uh, the trade flourished with a uh, sea trading yes sailing can you explain it actually the kerala part of india ah. that is south west india west india did not have very many things in common with the rest of the subcontinental india hmm. because the subcontinental india hmm. that is the karnataka andhra pradesh onwards they had connection with the northern part of india and beyond the hindu kush mountains into the persian region and into the chinese region by land they had the silk route oh. but the land route hmm. but kerala hmm. due to the topographical features due to the far away locations far away from himalayas hmm. far away from the gangetic plains was having more of an access along the sea route with the rest of the world oh that was true from hmm. prehistoric times also hmm. we learned about uh, the original people hmm. uh, the negritoids and australoids hmm. coming along the sea route ah, sir but they were not using ships they would have been using rafts Raft, and, raft uh, um, and small uh, uh, oh, um, oh, small ca- t- kind of you know small canoes or something like that oh, so not exactly ships oh, or oh. and not organized kind of rowing mm-hmm. or uh, no navigation system nothing mm. so it was just of an instinct and then uh, they so all, all other states of india yeah contacted with the world yeah uh, to by land by land only kerala only kerala uh, that is uh, so world. different that includes uh, tamil nadu also to certain extent oh. tamilagam by uh, ancient tamilagam uh, by uh, sea by sea by sea, sea only sea. only by sea only by not sea. by That's land oh. until That's aryans right. came the map shows it Yeah, only by the Dravidians of course of course the Dravidian population some of them would have come by by land yeah. although they are Mediterranean people they would have taken a long long route to come oh. but uh, the forefathers of the Christian community Islam, Islam and also very many other other good Jews Jews, Jews they all came you know by the sea mm-hmm. by the sea It's trade oh. only it is oh. uh, some kind of trade mm. trade uh, with uh, Alexandria mm. with Babylon with the Romans mm. were all the times when you know this kind of travel happened mm. and mixing of blood also happened ah and uh, what about colonial people colonial uh, colonial people invades. definitely came uh, when we come to before we come to colonial people mm. we have to uh, peruse ah. as to who came first by organized navigation ah who came right first? who came first is a question so organized navigation by, by ship ship yeah by ship ship, ship. um one can think about hmm. a, an ancient sea route to kerala hmm. from egypt egypt uh. the times of the pharaohs ah uh. bc 2800 hmm. to bc 1000 uh, odd oh so this is the time of the pharaohs pharaohs these people ideally they would have been looking at malabar malankara kerala region ah. for uh, sourcing the spices required for mummification mummification ah one so, in one episode you yeah uh, i just mentioned, mentioned the word mummification it, mentioned it uh, our that is uh, yeah that earlier earlier uh, 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 episode one of the episode uh, i, I just leaf, mentioned but just give a hint leaf, about uh, it pepper uh, all yeah, these things they used they were using uh, cinnamon also cinnamon cinnamon they were using cardamom cardamom they were using oh. and also the curry leaves curry leaves and curry pepper. leaves uh, pepper they were all using all these things not only as preservatives but all or food preservatives but also to preserve their dead dead 
Mummies. Mummies. They remove their brain and heart and other things in the body organs. And the body is filled with, you know, some oh, uh, inner and outer stuff. layering oh. of uh, spices. Spices. Some extract of spices. Mm. That is how the mummification, but mummification. Uh, understandably, arguably, mm. these spices, even though it is very difficult to prove it, these spices could not have come from the then known world, Africa, ah. Sub Sudan Africa, Sub Saharan mm. Africa. Mm. And the, uh, the understanding of the Egyptians about the Sub Saharan Africa also is a debatable question. Mm. But definitely, these Egyptian vessels would have been coming to Kerala taking at least one and a half to two years to reach along the coastal sea route. Oh. So look at the way they would have been touching hmm. the, from the Red Sea coast. They hmm. would have been traveling to the Yemen, Oman, oh. those region and oh. they'll be traveling further upwards oh. to Iranian coast, Persian Gulf coast and then into the Indus river mouth, oh. uh, into the uh, Narmada river mouth hmm. and down south, Netravadi river da south into Muziris. In the Muslims. Into Muslims in Kerala. Mm -hmm. So that would have been the route on those days, I, we do not know. Mm -hmm. BC 2000, we don't know whether Muslims was there. Mm -hmm. We are talking about BC 2000, BC oh. 1500, 2500 time. Right. Long time back. Long time. It is an inference that we get. Mm -hmm. Somehow, these people were able to source the spices from far off land. God's own country called country. Kerala, ah. which was known for spices even those days. Ah. Not farming cultivation, but wild growth. Ah. Wild growth. Ah. And that's the earliest, possibly, they are the Egyptian traders. traders. Egyptian, the treasure hunters. Ah. These are the treasure, not treasure gold. Days. This is treasure. This is These treasure. treasure hunters were the original travelers, possibly, mm. in organized travel by ships. By ships. By very mm. primitive ships. Mm. Mm. And some of the ships of Egypt. Ah. are exactly the same as that to the Indian, the then Indian ancient ships. Ah. The ah. shipbuilding also in some of the wood excavated from Egypt, ah. from Alexandria, ah. uh, northern Egypt. Hmm. Actually teak, teak, and, tower, and teak wood. rosewood and teak and all that. How would rosewood reach there? Mm -hmm. the teak uh, which is uh, 3,000, 4,000 years old teak. teak. How could the teak reach? The hmm. Teak can be grown only right here. Oh. And they can grow in Thailand further east. Mm. They would never have gone to Thailand. Thailand, no. So definitely, Thailand also teak started growing much later. Mm. But it is basically Kerala. Kerala. Basically, Chera region, Pandya region, where teak mm. was growing yeah. wild. Wild. Right. So that was the um, original thing. That is the Egyptian. Mm. It is a projection. Mm. It is a hypothesis that Egyptians would have been here. Mm. Right or in BC to is a hypothesis. Ah. But the next one is not just hypothesis, Phoenicians, ah. not just hypothesis. The proof can be had from a number of documents. Ah. And even uh, if uh, one is a Christian uh, faith hmm. oriented person, ah. a Bible is taken as a historic document by some people. Some ah. people don't take it as a historical ah. document. Ah. The Old Testament of the Bible ah. talks about the flourishing trade during flourishing King, trade, flourishing during trade with Kerala. Ah during the times of King Solomon. King Solomon. They don't talk about Kerala. Ah. They talk about uh, Ophir. Oh. Ophir. Ophir and Tarshish. Ah. Ophir can be Bepur. You know, Ophir oh, can be Ophir. Bepur ah, of Kerala. Oh. I'm, we're not sure, ah. but it is just well, projection. Might, because might, you know, history, be. if there is no recorded history, we ah. can only take inference. Inference. The possibilities. Ah. It, was not, it was not impossible. Ah. Phoenicians were seafaring people. Phoenicia hmm. is the present day Lebanon. These uh, Phoenicians were ruling the roost in the Mediterranean region. Hmm. They were dominating the shipbuilding and they were dominating the seas by vessels and all that. By all possibility, these ships could have been coming from through the same route the Egyptians would have taken oh, oh. along the coastal lines. Coastal line, no. They would have been touching all the ports in on the way, mm. getting or selling or buying commodities, commodities and ultimately reaching here taking two years. Taking so two years. One and a half to two years. Hmm. That hint, hint is there because Tarshish ships, Ophir ships hmm. of Solomon, Phoenician uh, ships. Ophir? Ophir and Tarshish. Tarshish could be Tarishapalli uh, or Tarisha, Tarisha or some place. Tarshishapalli. No, no, no. Tarishapalli. It's Tarish. Kollam. Maybe, maybe that. Oh, oh, One can't be very sure. Oh. But even Tarisha, the name Tarisha is of West Asian origin. Oh. We can't be sure. Oh. But Tarshish ships and Ophir, uh, that Ophir, Tarshish ships hmm. were taking Dantam, that is uh, ivory. ivory, 
that is uh, the tusk of the elephant tusk elephant tusk and uh, mile that is peacock peacock okay ah. and uh, uh, and uh, monkeys ah they were all spotted right here in india ah so where else would they have sourced it from mm. elephant you know you can't have elephants in palestine right palestine, no. you can't have no. elephants in palestine no. that elephant uh, task you know should have been coming right from here mm. and you have a lot of uh, ivory uh, towers being built ivory thrones being built mm. all using elephant mm. uh, tusk mm. so they would have been coming here this is solomon's time is about 1000 bc king solomon of israel mm. Mm -hmm. 1000 bc mm. so ships would have been coming mm. once in 3 years 60 ships used to come they say 50s to 70s ships used to come mm. every three years time mm. in a convoy we understand convoy. that they coming. would come in convoy mm -hmm. being afraid of uh, pirates pirates in the way so they would be coming armed well armed because mm -hmm. it's riches that they're taking off oh they would be bringing gold and taking off the spices and all spices yeah. spices and eat these things ah. which bible suggests ah. if you don't take it as truth then the inference you can take possibility is there oh. and then comes the See, finish it. After that comes the Arabs. Arabs. Arab ships. You know, Babylon became a center of you know excellence and Mesopotamia, Babylonia, and Carthage gone. Carthage means you know the Carthage is the capital of uh, Phoenicia. Phoenicia. Mm. The the main door of the Carthaginian temple and Carthaginian uh, fortress a was fort. built with. sandalwood where could oh. the sandalwood excavated sandalwood, sandalwood. 3000 years old sandalwood excavated from the remains of the lost city of carthage mm -hmm. possibly that sandalwood could have been coming from marayur mm -hmm. or from karnataka kerala region ah uh, veerappan you know oh, oh, <laughs> region oh, 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 that okay. would be the region where sandalwood would be coming mm -hmm. so there is always a, a kind of uh, the probability mm. Uh, looking at the carbon dating and looking at the age looking at the artifacts and looking at the what the wood as such oh, sure. definitely mm. then comes the arabs mm. arabs were very smart people ah they would be coming they would be taking the spices carrying it to the mediterranean coast the romans were coming up in a big way the roman trade hadn't started direct roman trade mm. with kerala had never started mm. we are talking about uh, bc 2000 bc 200 bc 100 period mm, mm, mm. that was the time rome was gradually evolving mm. arabs were buying goods they were intermediaries oh, oh. they were not using it ah. they were buying thing they were collecting goods and taking it in arab ships to all the way to rome to rome alexandria oh. and uh, babylon oh. they are selling it they per and romans purchase it egyptians purchase it at 10 times 20 times 30 times sometimes 100 times costly mm, arabs were merchants they, they were merchants they were intermediaries they mm. were middlemen middlemen just yeah. to avoid this kind of plunder by arabs ah julius caesar decided the roman empire julius caesar in ah. bc ah. bc 25 30 they he decided then he conquered yudimon arabia mm. then the arab control of that region ended mm. the romans wanted to start trade with kerala directly directly direct trade mm. and that was the paradigm shift paradigm shift the whole gamut of relationship changed mm. the world order changed romans were high tech those days they had technology mm. high technology mm. not the current day technology the then existing no, technology then very sophisticated technology mm. they had huge vessels romans oh. would have been taking a unique route Right. They are the ones who invented a new trade route mm. on the basis of hippalus winds, mm. trade wind, trade wind. The possibility of utilizing the advantage wind power for moving, wind for moving, sailing across the turbulent waters of Arabian Sea. Or until then, ships were traveling along the land of the way. round about way in a long way it would no, take one no. and a half years oh. time to reach oh. but 41 days you could reach here just 41 mm. days just across the thing mm. all together they would take around uh, 70 days the oh. route is this from rome the roman ships hmm. medium level roman mediterranean ships hmm. would be cutting the 
Mediterranean, small sea, Mediterranean ah, across, ah, ah. downstream, hmm. into the mouth of a river Nile. Nile river. Oh. That is called Alexandria. Ah. The city built by, the city um, started by Alexander the Great. Alexander. Hmm. Around BC 300. Hmm. And then from Alexandria, these ships hmm. with their cargo, hmm. maybe some uh, minerals and metals ah, and ah, glass ah, and ah, you know, hmm. pottery and wheat and hmm. wine pottery, hmm. in amphora. Ah. And they just bring bring these things into smaller ships. They are transported in smaller ships mm. that are navigable through the Nile. Nile, Nile. is very broad. broad. Beginning part of Nile, some 50, 60, 60 miles, mm. very broad. Very they travel broad. even big time ships would enter Nile. Oh. And then small time ships, they will be, they will be uh, moving the cargo mm. into smaller ships. Mm. And the smaller ships would be coming down and down and down to a point called Coptos, Coptos sir. in Egypt. Mm. From Coptos, they would disembark, ah. including they would unload, unload. the commodities mm -hmm. and carry it on donkey top ah. and ah. also using camel. camels and across the Arabian desert into either the two Red Sea ports, ah. either Bernike mm. in the Red Port, Red Sea port yeah. or even Meos Hormos. Mm. Either of these things, ships would be ready. Again, Roman ships would be ready in the, it was Roman occupied oh, region. Oh, oh. Roman sh ships would be ready in either either um, Mere Hormuz hmm. or in Bernike. Hmm. Once again, they will load it. Oh, oh, and load. these commodities would travel south. Ships, small time oh, ships will travel southwards, southwards to a point where the Somalia, the Horn of Africa, Somalia oh, oh. jutting out into the sea. There's a small island called Sekotra. Hmm. Sekotra. Sekotra. Sekotra Island. Once again, they would change, uh, disembark. disembark and reload it in a different kind of Roman ships. Mm -hmm. This time huge ships, oh. capable of cutting Arabian Sea across. Oh. They will set sail. They wait for the southwest monsoon to come hmm. and sail across. Oh, for the wind. Oh. wind. That's in May-June mm, time. time. The southwesterly winds will start using the wind power. Hmm. They set sail. Mm, sail. In exactly 41 days, they would land up in while either of the Tindis or in Mujeris, mm. or maybe in Naurai North, mm. or be in Pandalayani Kollam near Calicut, mm. or uh, Tindis or Mujeris, or even Bokare, mm. or if some port or the other, it will be, they will anchor. anchor. Oh. Just 41 days. Mm. This is invented by mm. a kind of a, an accidental invention of the trade winds. Oh. That's by a trader, a sailor, a ge geographer called uh, uh, Hippalus. This is called Hippalus winds. So that is how the Roman trade mm. happened. So that was the first time. Thank you, sir. Very much, I have enjoyed that. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Please. Bye. Thank you very much for participating. Let us see again in another episode. Thank you.